Hey everybody, this is Chad Culp, certified dog trainer, owner of Thriving Canine, and I'm here today to talk about housebreaking. Now, anybody who has a puppy, the first thing they need to worry about is housebreaking, so we're not having the dog going to the bathroom all over the house. Nobody wants that. So, we could go on, I could probably do an hour about it, but we're going to bust this down to a short video for you guys, and we're going to cover three really important fundamental housebreaking tips. Management managing the puppy inside, potty breaks, getting them to their potty spot on a regular basis, and number three, cleaning it up properly so that it doesn't smell. So let's go management. Management means that they are not going to have free run of the house. You're gonna close the doors, you're gonna put up baby gates, you're gonna get an exercise pen, you're gonna get a crate, and you're gonna keep them on leash. And accidents should not be happening without you seeing it. If you're finding surprises, you are not following the management plan. Simple as that. Next, we got to get them to where we want them to go, be it on potty pads if you live in an apartment or something like that. Most people, it's going to be outside, into the yard. You're going to get them out there every one to two hours when they're young. They, Their system, the food and water goes through there quickly. They need to get out a lot. And, you, and every time you get them out there, you're going to reward them heavily. You're going to praise them. Good boy, good girl, good potty, right? Woo, yay! Make sure after they've gone, don't interrupt them while they're in the middle of going. And you can give them treats too. Let them think, hey, my urine and feces are worth money out there. Okay, indoors, they have no value. All right, so that's the key. Then also, you're going to look for certain triggers or certain times when they're probably going to need to go. If they just woke up from a nap, get them out. If they just got done playing, get them out. Right? If they just got done eating, they may need to go out. And also watch for things like they tend to circle and sniffing. And different dogs will give different cues, but usually when they're sniffing and going in circles, they're looking for a spot to go to the bathroom. So get them outside. Those are your keys there. Number three, big one, and I actually see a lot of people miss this, is to clean up the mess. Not that most people don't clean up the mess, but they don't use the right type of cleaners. They're just using regular old household cleaner. There's, smells good to us, smells clean to us, but the dogs can still smell it. If it smells like a bathroom, it must be a bathroom to them. But it, get an enzyme cleaner that is, and let it soak on there long enough to break that down and get rid of that smell so that the puppy can't smell it. That's it, you got your management, get them out there, reward them for going in the right spot, clean up those messes, that's it. That's how you housebreak them. I'm Chad Cole for Thriving Canine. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here.